If you've ever needed to protect the contents of a worksheet, you've likely learned that if you go up to the Review tab and in the Protect section choose Protect Sheet, you can enter a password and now that sheet is locked. So if the user went to a cell and tried to type, they would get a denied message. Now we've seen in another video that I'll put a link to in the description how we can create exceptions in certain areas of the spreadsheet. So based on the person who opened the file, they may be able to type data in one area, but not another. But what if you want the entire sheet to be inaccessible except by key people? In other words, the entire sheet needs a password to be displayed. So if you don't have the password, you can't gain access to the sheet. Let's see how we can create a table of contents page, which has a list of all the sheets in the workbook, but you have to ask to have that sheet displayed. So when you click on a button, you have to first supply a password for that sheet. If you have the password, then the sheet is displayed and you get access. But if you don't have the password, you're denied access to the sheet. We'll break these steps down into the following phases. First, we'll write the macro that will display the sheet when the user supplies the correct password. Next, we'll create a macro that will hide the sheet upon the user's request when they leave. We'll look at how to embed some error checking in this in case the person supplies the wrong password or no password. We'll look at how to assign these macros to buttons on the worksheets. We'll see how to protect the workbook so the user can't circumvent the macros and unhide the sheets manually. We'll also see how to protect the Visual Basic Editor so the user can't go in, circumvent the macros, or see the embedded passwords. Links to the timestamps for each of these topics is listed in the video description. This workbook is available for download, link in the video description, so you can follow along and copy-paste the code into your own projects. We'll begin with the password that reveals a hidden locked sheet. So this would be when the user goes to the table of content sheet, and let's say they want to display the South Sales sheet, they can click on the button for South Sales, and they'll be prompted for a password. If you don't know the password, you're denied access. If you don't supply a password, then of course nothing happens. But if you do supply the correct password, then the sheet is revealed. Here we are in the Visual Basic Editor. You can open this by pressing Alt F11 on your keyboard. This is the code to prompt the user for a password, and then based on its validity, either display the worksheet or inform the user that they have the wrong password. When you put this into your workbook, you'll want to go to the Modules folder in the Project Explorer, right-click, and do an Insert Module. So here I just inserted a blank module, and it's here where you will paste this code. I'm going to go ahead and delete that module sheet. So I created a module sheet, and down here in the properties of the module sheet, I've renamed it to East Macros, because this will be the module that holds the macros that control the East sheet. You can, of course, call this anything you like. Now, I'll give you the broad strokes of the code, because it's not necessary that you understand every little bit of the code, just which pieces you might need to tweak for your use. So here I have a macro called Show East, which will show the East sheet. We'll use an input box to prompt for a password, and then store that password in a variable called PW. We'll then check that password to see if the password matches what the applied password is. Now notice this password is stored in the VBA code, which means if a user were to come into the Visual Basic Editor, they'd be able to see your passwords. We will take care of that at the end when we lock this editor down. So in this case, if the password matches, we will unprotect the workbook. We will make the East sheet visible. We'll then place our cursor on the East sheet and then re-protect the workbook. Workbook protection is necessary because it keeps the user from manually unhiding other sheets. Now, if the user clicks cancel or doesn't enter a password, then we just exit this routine and nothing happens. Now, the other option would be if they enter an incorrect password. In this case, we'll display a message box that just lets them know they typed in an incorrect password. So to test this out, if I were to click on the launch button for the East sales sheet, it will prompt me for a password. In this case, the password is East, capital E, the sheet is made visible. Now, of course, the workbook was unprotected, the sheet was made visible, our cursor was placed on the sheet, and the workbook was reprotected. Now, if the user wishes to rehide that sheet, we have another macro down here called Hide East. So instead of Show East, it's Hide East. And what this does is it unprotects the workbook, hides the sheet, places the user's cursor on the table of contents sheet, and then reprotects the workbook. I've assigned that macro to this little chameleon icon. So if we click the chameleon, the workbook is unprotected, the sheet is hidden, the workbook is reprotected. 
Now, we have to take a moment and talk about the workbook protection because it's protecting the workbook that keeps the user from going down to a sheet tab and right-clicking and doing a manual unhide to try to get to some of these restricted sheets. So you can see up here on the review tab, I have protect workbook engaged. Now, I'm going to go ahead and unprotect that. And in this case, the password is password. Pick a better password in the real world. See, without that workbook protection, the user could right-click on a sheet, go to unhide, and then go to any sheet and just manually unhide it. So when we hide the sheet, we engage workbook protection, give it a password, and now the user no longer has access to the unhide feature. The only way they can get a specific sheet to be displayed is to go through the macro. So we can use a macro to unhide the sheet. We can also use a macro to hide the sheet. Now as an extra touch, I'll go back into one of those hidden sheets. And if the user wants to leave this sheet open, but go back to the table of contents sheet and display a different sheet, I've got a macro linked to this cell, so when they click it, it returns them to the table of contents sheet, and then they could go open up a different one like North. So as long as you know the passwords for these sheets, you can have as many sheets open as you like. The user is not limited to only looking at one sheet at a time. Assuming each one of these sheets has a different password, as long as the user knows the password, they can open up as many sheets as they like. So there I've opened up the North sheet and the East sheet. the south sheet, and the west sheet. So you can have all the sheets open provided you know their passwords. And each sheet can have a different password. Now as a nicety, I have a cell on each of these sheets that links back to the table of contents sheet. So with a click, you could always return back here. So on the module sheet for the east macros, we've got the show east macro and the hide east macro. Same thing for the north macros, we've got the show north and the hide north. Likewise for the south macros, and the West macros. Now you can place all of these macros on the same module sheet if you like, but I like to organize these. Now because each of these macros must first unprotect the workbook, do what they do, and then reprotect the workbook, the macro has to know what the workbook password is. Now just like the sheet's password, the password has to be embedded into the VBA code, and here we can see it as plain text. We'll be protecting that shortly. But the workbook password has to be used multiple times. We've got to use it to unprotect the workbook and reprotect the workbook every time we either show or hide a sheet, which means this password has to be defined four times for every module sheet. And what if that password changes? You'll have to change it four times for as many sheets as you have. And imagine if you have 50 sheets, Alabama through Wyoming, that would be 200 times you'd have to update the password. Because remember, this is the password for the whole workbook, not for the individual sheets. So what I've done is created another module sheet called workbook password. And I've placed this public constant that just says, let's create a constant called workbook password it's going to store text, and then here is where we store the password. So by setting this up separately and then referring to it, notice the name workbook password. So by referring to it, anytime we wish to unprotect or reprotect the workbook, if the password changes, we only have to come back here and change it in one place. It is still stored as plain visible text, unfortunately, but that's just a limitation of the Visual Basic Editor. I've still yet to show you how we'll keep the user from coming in here to discover these passwords. Now the question is, how did I assign this code to one of these arrow buttons? You can assign code to any illustrative object. It can be an icon, a shape, a picture. So if you were to go up to insert and choose shape, you could pick a shape like a star, draw a star, and then right click, assign macro. And here we can see all the macros that I've created. So I could choose something like the show north macro. Now when you hover over the star, you get the Microsoft giving you the finger icon. We give it a click and it launches that code. I'm gonna delete that star. So for me, I went up to insert icons, did a search for arrow, and then I just found this particular icon and inserted it. I changed the color, I changed the direction, and then I could right click on it and assign a macro. Now here's a loophole that the user might exploit that you wouldn't think of until it's too late. So suppose an East user comes in and displays the East sheet. They fail to rehide the sheet before saving the file, and then they close the file with the sheet exposed. If we reopen the workbook, the workbook is open with that East sheet exposed. And if I was a North user or a West user, I'm now seeing information I wasn't supposed to see. So let's put a little bit of code in here that purposefully hides every sheet in the workbook except the table of contents sheet the instant the file is open. That way, if somebody accidentally leaves a sheet open, we've covered our bases. 
Back in the Visual Basic editor, I've double clicked on the This Workbook object and I've placed this code. This macro is what is known as an event-driven macro. In other words, when a specific event occurs, the macro is triggered. In this case, the event is the opening of the workbook. Now, because our password has to be iterated multiple times, we'll set that up as a variable. That way it's easier to update. We will remove workbook protection, go through each of the sheets and hide them. Now, if a sheet is already hidden, this command won't do anything. It also won't trigger an error. We'll place the user's cursor on the table of contents sheet, and then we'll re-protect the workbook. So this way, if any stray sheets were left open the last time the file was saved, they'll be re-hidden and protected. Now I'm explicitly listing each sheet, and since there's only four, it was just easiest to do it this way. But if you had 50 sheets, say one for each state, or maybe almost 200 sheets, one for every country, you wouldn't want to have to list every single item separately. So this could be done more efficiently with a loop. So you could do something like for every sheet except the table of contents sheet, hide it. We're not going to get into looping in this video. So now with the workbook open event in place, I'll purposefully leave this east sheet visible. I'm going to save the file and close the workbook. I'll reopen the workbook. And notice the east sheet has been hidden. If I were to go through and make all of the worksheets visible, So here I have all sheets left in a visible state. I'll save the workbook in this state, close the workbook, reopen, and every sheet is automatically hidden. So now we've closed this inadvertent backdoor access to the data. Now the one weakness in our security armor that we've yet to strengthen is preventing the user from getting into the Visual Basic editor and seeing what the plain text passwords are because the user could come down here to a sheet tab and say view code, open up the Visual Basic Editor, and start drilling into the macros, and then seeing what the passwords are. Same thing if they were in Excel and press the Alt F11 keyboard combination. So to keep those avenues from being wide open, in the Visual Basic Editor, we'll go up to Tools, and then VBA Project Properties. On the Protection tab, we'll check the box for Locked Project for Viewing, and we'll supply a password. Now this password can be completely different from the workbook protection passwords or the sheet passwords. In fact, I would recommend making it different. Now the VBA protection password is not stored in any of these macros, so make sure you document this. If I close the Visual Basic Editor, we'll save the file, close it, restart it. So now we have to have a password to open a sheet. If we go up to review, we would have to have a password to unprotect the workbook. These passwords are all stored in the VBA code so they can be used when the macros are executed. So if the user goes down to a sheet, right click and performs a view code, they will be prompted to enter a password before they're given access to the editor. Once you've supplied the password to the Visual Basic Editor, the Visual Basic Editor will remain in an unlocked state for as long as Excel remains open. So if I were to close the Visual Basic Editor and do something like an Alt F11, I walk right in without having to supply a password. But of course, if I close the file and reopen, an Alt F11 will take me into the Visual Basic Editor, but the instant I try to access any of the data, I'm prompted for the password. So that's how we can create macros to display password protected sheets, rehide those sheets, check for password mismatches, assign the macros to launch buttons, also protect our workbook so users can't circumvent these macros, and then how to protect access to the Visual Basic Editor to secure the entire project. Remember this file is available for download, link is in the video description, so you can copy paste this code into your projects. Leave us a comment to let us know what you think about this solution for protecting worksheets with passwords. And if you have any suggestions on how to improve the process, put those in there as well. We're always looking to make things better. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. We really appreciate it. So make sure you check out the rest of our video library, because remember, at BCTI, the learning never stops.